It's extremely important to be healthy. I think that when you are, you're more confident about yourself and uh, you can just be more, I don't know, you can just be more uh, happy about who you are when you're healthy. If you eat the right things and you, you know, you exercise the right way, then you just exude that and you can hold your head up high and have that kind of confidence. I believe being healthy is very important to every individual because um, you have a longer life to live. I think it's important for everyone to have good self-esteem and um, self-confidence. It makes you feel great and if you don't, you just can't be productive and I like to be productive every day and I like exercise just to stay healthy. You look great, you feel great, you just, it's just awesome. We only have one body so we should learn how to take care of it. Exercise anytime, three to five times a week. Nothing too hardcore, just, you know, some cardio, some weightlift, or minor weightlifting. Some people are allowed, you know, junk food at least once in a while, but I think trying to eat healthy at least a little bit every day is good. Exercising, eating right, getting enough sleep, and just be careful of what you eat and eat it right, and too much of everything is not good. Do things you like to do, jog, walk. Sometimes if you don't want to run, you can still go for a walk. I think that when women star themselves to look beautiful, I just don't think that that is a very good way of, uh, I think it's a really wrong perception of being beautiful because being skinny isn't necessarily that way. Um, I kind of feel like they don't know what they're missing because there's like so much um, great food to eat out there. Like if you starve yourself, you know, that's, I wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> they shouldn't starve just because of the media saying that they have to be skinny. I just, I just think in order to be healthy and to be beautiful, they should just be themselves. I think it's sad because they should embrace their curves. It's very womanly. And it should be taken care of by everybody, not only the people that are suffering, but we should all get involved and try to reduce this problem. Some of the ways that we could help women with eating disorders is forming support groups. We could all get together and help these women fight these terrible diseases. A lot of information on websites. I mean, we're such an age full of technology that there's a lot of information that's readily available can try to show them that you don't have to be skinny to be beautiful. First of all, they need to find out why they're not eating, what makes them start to have eating disorders. Once they define that, then if it's because of the media of what they say, then they should just not listen to what they say because they should just feel good about themselves because that's just the way how God made them and that's who they are. I think the best way is just to get people around them informed of the disorder and just have the family and friends support. Focus on something else instead of their beauty, like their other talents. Beautiful to me means loving who you are, loving yourself, regardless of how you look. Beautiful, being beautiful. I think it means, to me personally, it's just being able to be comfortable with my own body, with my own self, being comfortable enough to just be me around people. And I think that confidence makes me beautiful. To have a great personality and be kind. Just be yourself and be who you are. That's beautiful to me. I think beautiful depends on like the person, you know, I mean, even if someone isn't what society calls beautiful, I think if they're a great person, you know, that makes them beautiful. Your personality in the inside, where people love you for who you are. Beautiful is being smart and being able to have confidence in yourself. And if you can hold your head up high and be able to exude that out and show that to other people, then I think that's what beautiful really means.